Hey there, Will with Event Stable. Today I want to talk about the best way to store and transport your resin, wood, or plastic folding chairs. We get a lot of questions about this. In addition to storage, how do you move them around? Uh, will they go over grass? So we're going to talk about all of that stuff today. So when I was in the rental business, there, used, there was this guy in town, his name, I don't recall, but he had kind of a sub rental only business. He would rent out wood folding chairs and, and some tables here and there to a gal in town who had a tabletop rental business. She had like glassware and, and linens and stuff like that. So this guy used to rent her tables and chairs and we would sub rent from him when we were short on things a lot of the time as well. And so this guy, he used to keep all of his chairs on folding chair carts all of them. At first, I thought that was a little bit weird for a rental company, but after working with the guy for a while, I realized that he was kind of a genius. So whenever I needed to sub rent chairs, I would give him a call. He'd come down to the shop with his truck, all the chairs on these carts, and then just kind of roll them off the back of the truck. I thought it was great. And since then, I've been saying that that's the best way to store and transport your folding chairs, whether it's a party rental or an event venue. So anyway, this is our most popular option for storing and transporting folding chairs. Like I said, they work with resin chairs, wood chairs, plastic folding chairs. You can even put stacks of Shivari chairs on these things. So after answering the basic questions like how many chairs can you put on one of these carts and store, the answer is 25 for resin and wood folding chairs and then 50 for plastic folding chairs. The, the biggest question is what surfaces can these carts go over? So I thought it would be a little bit fun to go all over town and see what kind of surfaces we can drag them over. Grass, gravel, DG. So that's what I thought we would do today. I just had to get out of the driveway for a minute because I had a potential rain delay. Never rains around here. When we, <laughs> and when it does, we get floods and I have to stop making videos, so. Rain! So unless you're gonna be storing your chairs indoors, like on a very smooth auditorium floor or polished concrete or something like that, I recommend picking up one of these for every cart. It's an endless loop strap. It's basically the same thing as the, uh, the ratchet straps that you get at Home Depot, except it doesn't have the hooks. And we have these things cut to length, so they go around a stack of chairs and it gives you the perfect length of the webbing. And, uh, and then what I recommend is that you put the ratchet on the top of the chairs and that way you won't scratch the sides. So just kind of like this. You just ratchet them down and it keeps them secure to the frame of the, uh, of the dolly and then you can drag them all over. So now we get to go drag them all over grass and gravel and see how the carts do on those surfaces. Got to make sure to unlock the locking casters in the back. Here we go. All right, test number one, I found some pavers. Okay, so the pavers did prove to be a little bit difficult. They have this space in between each one, not like a lot of other pavers that I've seen. So I think regular pavers where they're butted right up against one another would probably be pretty easy to do, but the one, these have the space that's definitely wider than the wheel. Uh, so this particular set of pavers, a no-go, I'd find another way to do it. Moving on. So I got over to the park and the park has everything we're looking for. Pavers, grass, and there's some DG back there. So these pavers are tighter together. Shouldn't pose an issue at all, but let's check those out first. All right, so just like I thought, the pavers were no problem. I'd have no issue whatsoever recommending uh, this cart to somebody who is using these pretty much exclusively on pavers, so good. 
You know, one thing I should mention is how useful these locking casters are on the rear wheels. They're definitely, those, those rotating casters are definitely intended to, be go, to go on the back of the cart because it's really easy just to move the cart around with the handle and then quickly with your toe lock the casters so the chairs don't go rolling off on you. So definitely put the rotating casters on the back of the cart and utilize that locking mechanism. It's really, really helpful. And then this guy behind me, by the way, is Ignacy Jan Paderewski. He's a world famous pianist, just for anybody anybody who's wondering. All right, so behind me, there's a big patch of DG. There's some of it's loose, some of it's pretty well packed, so I think it'll be an accurate representation of what you're going to encounter out there. DG stands for decomposed granite, really common for like driveways, for wineries. So if you have a venue, you probably have some DG on your property. And if you have a rental company, you're likely to encounter some when you're out making deliveries. So let's see how the cart does on the DG. All right, so thumbs up on the DG. Really didn't feel any resistance. It's hard packed enough and the loose stuff didn't really get in the way. So again, no problem with these on the DG. Onto the grass. All right, here it is, grass, the ultimate. We get the most amount of questions about grass for good reason. Most wedding venues are having their wedding ceremonies on grass and need to set up white chairs out on the grass for the wedding ceremony. You can't leave them out there all summer long, so they need to be set up each and every weekend. You need to be able to do that efficiently. So what's more efficient than putting them on a cart and being able to drag them out to the grass? Let's give it a whirl. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about grass. If the grass is really soft, like ours is, because it never rains here, and then all of a sudden when it does rain, we get like seven feet of rain. If the wheels do get stuck, I found it's really helpful just to pull the cart. So a lot easier that way, but if I had a wedding venue and had to set up chairs on grass, I would use these. All right, last one, and I think this one's just gonna be for fun because I don't think it's gonna work, but I've got some wood chips, some mulch, whatever that is behind me. So let's try pushing this cart across the wood chips. I gotta admit, I'm pretty impressed with what some four inch wheels can do. The wood chips are a go. I guess we're all done. Obviously this folding chair cart isn't the ideal cart for every situation. Those big gaps in the pavers we saw earlier or massive pieces of gravel, um, you're not gonna have an easy time pulling that cart over. But we do sell a variety of carts with air-filled, pneumatic wheels, uh, flat-free wheels that will glide over those types of surfaces. I will do future videos to highlight those, so look out for those. Ah, worked up a sweat. I hope you guys appreciate the lengths that I went to to get this done. Like literally, the park's like a quarter mile away. <laughs> no, really, I hope it was useful. And uh, you know, if you found it useful, please consider subscribing to our channel. Let me know in the comments and we'll keep pumping out stuff like this. So as always, thank you for watching. where you're on a really smooth floor. Yeah. Why is everybody wanting to come down here and get out?